Hey guys and welcome to another video of TechWiser. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you guys can make this Geneva mechanism. Uh, I will show you the working ones I have done with this video. Um, so without wasting any time, let's get started. So first thing that we need to is this uh, make is, is to this uh, uh, Geneva plate. So uh, just click on uh, create a stitch and go to print print and make sure you have. Uh, made your dimensions into uh, inches because we have all the dimensions in inches so we are going to use your users our dimension in inches so make sure you have inches as your uh, unit type in this drawing and press ok so click on front plane or the ground plane with better and create a circle of 6 inch diameter press enter create another circle inside this of radius 0.75 inch and press enter draw a line from here to here and on this line anywhere make a circle of 0.38 inches now the next thing uh, choose the dimension tool and click on this center point and this center point and make the distance between them as 1.94 inches and press enter now uh, just zoom a little bit and from this point from this point uh, jo create a line joining the outer circle and do the same on the other side also yeah So after doing this, the next thing is click, uh, you uh, select the trimming tool and trim the unnecessary lines and trim the inner circle and also the middle line you have just drawn and then click on sketches, go to circular pattern, uh, select this line, this line and this circle. and select center point as this and make the quantity 6 and press enter now the next thing we have to do is draw a line from this point somewhere at this point and go to sketch create an arc and go to center point arc now you can make this arc from anywhere you want so uh, choose just choose any point on this line uh, yeah. so to choose any point on this line suppose that I have chosen this point and draw a line from anywhere and end it at its point now the next thing is choose the dimensioning tool and create make the distance from this point to the uh, center of the arc as 4.25 inches 4.25 inches and press enter next thing just click on this arc and make the radius as 1.77 inches 1.77 inches and press enter so after that next thing you have to do is go to a sketch click on circular pattern click select this sketch go to center point click on this point and make the quantity 6 and click on ok now the next thing you have to do is remove the unnecessary or trim the unnecessary part uh, use the trim tool and just trim these uh, circles by clicking on trimming button after that uh, we also have to trim all these uh, uh, arc that is closing these inner outlets so let me just I'm just my um, rewinding this video so guys once you have trimmed all the unnecessary entities uh, go to stop sketch and click on extrude select this entity and uh, enter the distance as 0.3 inches and click on operation and create new component and you can rename this component as GE 
Geneva wheel. Now the next thing we have to make is uh, this part. Uh, basically, this is the one which is going to move. So the cam part. So go to just hide this for a while and go to sketch choose the ground plane. Uh, choose circle and create a circle of 3.45 uh, yeah uh, let's hold on for a second and go make the di diameter of this circle as 3.45 inches and press enter so after this create another circle in middle of this of diameter 0 0.5 Seven five inches and press enter. Now the next thing you have to do is create a line from this point to this point. Go to sketch, go to this arc, go to uh, center point arc. Start from anywhere or at this line. Um, make an arc uh, of from this point to this point. Go to sketch dimension tool and. Uh, click on this uh, line and make the radius as 1.77 and press enter. So after that, uh, click on extrude and select this and just like before, <coughs> uh, make the extrusion distance as 0 0.3 inches and click on new component and press open. So you can name this component as cam now <coughs> just go to the back side of this sketch and go to create a sketch now we have to make this uh, uh, the lever part although it is not well defined in this sketch so we are going to make this lever part so okay so from this uh, sketch create a line from this point to uh, just create a horizontal line of any dimension and we just need it for our center line construction and click on enter and the next thing that we have to do is go uh, click on circle and first make a circle of 0 0.75 then make another circle of diameter uh, one I think uh, yeah 1.5 1.5 uh, inch and press enter now uh, create a circle somewhere at this point on this line you have just created before and create a circle of diameter 0.38 inches and click on enter and create another circle from the similar point of uh, diameter 0 0.75 inches and press enter now go to uh, sketch dimension tool and click on this point and this point and make the distance between their center point as 2.22 inches and press enter now <coughs> the next thing you have to do is uh, just uh, choose a line and click on from this circle make a line uh, uh, to this circle and do the same uh, with the another circle and then uh, in your sketch plate let's click tangent click on this line and click on this circle to make the tangent relation between them similarly do the same here and um, similarly repeat this step with these lines and circle and it is tangent before. now go to extrude click on the required spaces just like this yeah the all is selected and go to the distance as 0 0.3 inches it should be look like this and click on join now now the next step is you have to create a pin of approximately 0 0.3 from this point so you have to do is just click on this and go to create a sketch and create a circle somewhat here and just extrude it to extrude it to I think a distance of 0 0.3 and click on join it should be joined with this 
if you're not satisfied you can just extrude the lower part a little bit so then it can make a better job so it should like this now the next step um, we have to make this this uh, uh, platform on which all the mountings will be rounded so let's just hide for this second okay what is this one second i think i have left for something so basically what i have just done is to just go to these two point and just delete this and uh, just go to this sketch click on create a sketch capture position go to circle and create a circle on the base of this and just go to create and select this circle and enter the distance as minus 0.6 mm 6 inches sorry and click operation should be joined and press ok now it's a complete uh, single body so now just let's just hide and make the base part so go to isometric view select the base command click on capture position now uh, uh, this could be done by making a slot that would be easier so go to center to center slot click on anywhere you want and enter the distance between two slot as 4.25 inches i mean uh, 4.25 inches and press ok now it will ask you about the uh, the diameter of the circle so make that uh, i think uh, 1.5 will be enough and press enter so this will create a slot now onto the each of these point uh, make a circle of 0 0.75 inches press enter and do the same on the other side also uh, make a circle of 0. Point, uh, let's go to this dimension 2 and just make this as 0. 0.75 0. 0.75 inches and press enter now uh, just click on extrude select these and enter the distance as 0. 0.3 inches click on new component and you can name this component as base now the next thing we have to make these shaft so for that just <coughs> uh, just hide this part go to uh, sketch click on any plane click create a circle of 0 0.75 m per inches diameter um, extrude it to uh, you can use any length you want but i think uh, 3.5 will be good so go to new component and press ok you can name this shaft uh, this as shaft shaft um, now uh, we need actually two of this so just uh, uh, right click on this and create on copy and then uh, right click anywhere on the screen and click paste and it will ask you to the assign the location you can just drag it to the anywhere and press ok now there are two sharp one geneva wheel cam and base now the final thing that is left only is to do the assembly so let's just unhide all the bodies and they are just overlapping with each other so you can so just please uh, just uh, move them apart from each other so this is going to to be the base so that means the base should be rigid so right click on the base and click ground now it will uh, be grounded now the next thing is to assemble these sharp to press enter j and just uh, take the lower point of this sharp and align it with the lower point of the base and make the relation as rigid and press on ok repeat the same process with this just snap on over the lower point of the sharp and get it over with the lower point of this hole and make the relation type rigid and press ok now the next thing is to assemble this uh, uh, geneva wheel over this shaft so click on j and click on the top surface of the geneva mechanism and drag it to the top surface of this shaft and don't forget to change the type as revolute 
So it will make a revolution uh, joint, revolute joint between the shaft and the Geneva mechanism and then press on OK. Now uh, do the same with uh, the uh, cam mechanism with this shaft. So just click on joint, uh, just put the, uh, just take over the top surface of the cam and click on the top surface of this mechanism and make the relationship as joint. So now uh, they are fully different mechanism. Yeah. So you can just revert the position and revert go to top view. Now we have to align them so that they can form a mechanism. For that, just drag this to the surface. Uh, yeah, like this somewhere. Like, yeah, this should be okay. Actually, if you want. Uh, it to be more uh, perfect then you can just reduce the size of this uh, the, the mechanism so next thing that that you have to do is uh, to make uh, them uh, rotate like a boss <laughs> go to assemblies uh, click on enable contact cell this will act a menu in your uh, timeline right click on this and create new contact sets it will ask you to select the component or body in between which you want to enable contact sets just click on this component and this component and click on ok so now the uh, contact set has been made between the geneva wheel and the cam now they will not do not overlap so if uh, so actually my system does not respond if i move this fast so let's just try it actually i'm making this the first time yeah actually it's working fine so this is the geneva mechanism actually i, I am using a 4 gb laptop so that's why it's uh, it get hang i sometimes don't respond with this but uh, as per as assembly is concerned the assembly is it, it perfectly aligned and the geneva mechanism is uh, working absolutely fine if i just go to join and click on this and right click on this and animate model then it will be making uh, this uh, model yeah the model is perfectly working perfectly fine actually it's uh, my system is not uh, responding properly due to the some uh, uh, complication and the processing speed also of my system is a little bit slow so this is the video of uh, uh, Geneva mechanism how you can make a Geneva mechanism and assemble part in Fusion 360 so I hope you guys will like this video to comment share any queries and if you want you can just assign different colors to them just right click anywhere go to appearance and just for a better texture I always prefer go to metal click on aluminium make this as blue make this as red go a little downward and um, go to paint glossy make this as green and make this to sharp as yellow so now it will look better so if i just go to isometric and just move try to move this actually something is wrong yeah so this is how a Geneva mechanism works. Actually, my system is not responding again. But if you are using Fusion 60 on a high-rated system, then it will gonna run smoothly because the assembly is perfect. And your if your processing speed is fast enough, then your CPU will take over the all the complication without any hesitation. So this is the uh, video of Geneva Mechanism. Hope you guys will like this video. Thank you and have a nice day.